Hello and welcome, friends. Uh, this is Farm Simulator 22 that you have stumbled on. Uh, the original intent of these recordings uh, is mainly for my grandson, who loves to come over um, and wants to play. And uh, I wind up handing him his little Xbox controller with no batteries in it, but. Uh, he does believe he's driving around and uh, doing all the work that uh, he will soon be able to. But he loves anything trucks, tractors, machine related. And uh, I thought, if I'm playing, why not record these and uh, hopefully somebody else can get some enjoyment out of this. A little bit of entertainment. But um, I thought it would be... Uh, Nice to just start recording and putting them up. Um, as I said, Farm Simulator 22. I have played many years. 19. Uh, 22 is, uh, has been even higher detail and rendering. But uh, I thought this, this first installment would be a great place to start. Winter, not a whole lot going on. This farm is already been pretty much developed. And I thought it would be a better entertainment value if things were created rather than the build up to them. Um, right now we're uh, we're on a map called Ringwoods. It was created by a modder called Stevie. This is probably the best detailed authentic map that I've ever played. Uh, so, so kudos go out to Stevie. Uh, I want to let him know he's he's done an absolutely marvelous, marvelous job on this map. I I think if you stay with us and watch along with me, you'll soon realize too that this is this is quite extraordinary and uh, it makes playtime even uh, that much more fun. Hopefully, you don't have to listen to me talk all the time and uh, can just enjoy some of the sounds and sights of what's going on, but um, I guess first place to start is right over here. It's, uh, this farm happens to be called Red Pine Farms. We don't really have a big choice in it. Uh, I think in the modding of the apps that we had to choose from, there was there was three to choose from, and uh, I just went with this Red Pine Farms. It doesn't mean a whole lot, but I thought we would call it something. Anyway, um, again, thanks for being here. Uh, I love farming and uh, don't exactly have a uh, high end uh, performance computer uh, to, to capture all the detail. You just join in here and take in everything that uh, I'm excited to, to show you. And uh, anyway. Taking a small look around, uh, but with the, uh, the log cabin style house here, this was uh, built right into it. Uh, I love it. I uh, I personally do live in a log home myself, so it's uh, it hits home. Uh, we got a little barn out here. Um, all the neat little accessories go with them. There has there was one little uh, item that. Uh, Stevie did forget he has fixed it since, but it would require a restart, and I, and I had too much work into it. But this is the one little flaw here that uh, I think it was my wife that drove the car straight into my barn door and is now stuck permanently. But uh, anybody can live with that. So um, we are in first person view right now. This, uh, if, you, if you haven't played Farm Simulator yourself, we do have a third person. And uh, let's, let's, let's go to that right now. There we are. Uh, this is me. Uh, fairly good rendering of me, I guess. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, do, uh, I do like the John Deere's. Uh, I farm ourselves. But, uh, we have John Deere's. But uh, instead of uh, getting our gator here, let's, let's take a look inside. Oh, we might have to move our or uh, either here first. Uh, 
So, here is uh, a big old fifth wheel truck. I forgot what this is. This is a big old, uh, just lots of four. I think I think it was a 550 if I remember right. We got our we got our little snow plow machine here that's fun to get out and uh, push some snow around. It uh, it didn't work quite as good as I wanted it to, but uh, you know so soon the snow will be melted and all gone. I don't have to worry about it. I'm not special to uh, any particular truck because obviously we got a Ford on the right and good old. Dodge on the on the left there, and uh, and I just I picked up the other day this uh, brand new 350 uh, Ford Super Duty. I uh, I actually do drive a Super Duty uh, 250 2016 in real life, and uh, I, I I honestly wish I had the 22. The horsepower and torque is uh, absolutely astounding. Let's go ahead and poke this door open here just for the heck of it. There we go. And uh, let's give you just a quick tour around the uh, facilities here. And uh, our bearings for the other thing that's made this, this map so good is this layout has been so good. For the wind, the door open here. Here we got our little repair area. Oh, just thought I'd drive him in here for winter. The last place I parked him. Great little details. Got a motor over here. Got a, uh, I believe that's a. I know you put tires on it. I, I think that balances on the front, if I'm not mistaken. A little water tanker in here so it won't freeze. Again, you know, I'm not necessarily privy to exactly. I, I really like the, the internationals. Uh, I think maybe maybe for a little bit of different feel, different sound than the than the deers. But let's take a look around here. And I think you'll uh, you'll after a while understand uh, that, I, that I really prefer the. The bigger, the better, and because uh, in real life, uh, you you know, you might be able to get an eight-roll planner, and uh, it's a little bit smaller. But the farm simulator, if you've got the money, you can sure spend it on the biggest that you want to. Part of an air hole drill right there. Fertilizer, my spray truck over here. This is a potato, or can be used also as a, as a sugar beet harvester. That's fine. You'll notice uh, that I was a track star. I do happen to move really, really fast at certain times, and uh, that helps. All this was added as as the game was built. Uh, ICV again. These just these are just the little details that make that make these games super special. Uh, the things are a little prize as you go up. And, uh, uh, got a few engines over here if you uh, happen to mess one up. So that's pretty much it's in here. We'll go over here. This barn is still. Uh, Connected. If I can get my door open here. There we go. This actually happens to be a wash bay. Um, and I've chosen to put uh, a herbicide fertilizer hoppers on here. Uh, so we get out to the farm pretty easy. Um, 
there is the wash bay, but again, um, I, I use it for more storage and everything. We got our milk container over here. This happens to be another hopper for, for seed that we can get out to the farm with and have to come back. Not sure I'm gonna be able to squeeze through here. I parked a little close, so I'll tell you what, let's uh let's go out of here. If I can get over there. have a last bay, but uh, we'll explore that as time goes on. It's just so old, so just by the way, this this was just added just a few days ago. Uh, these are uh, neat little grease barrels uh, that, uh, if you'll see that right right corner, pops up with uh, lubricating grease. And, uh, it's a new new little app that you can, you can add. I've got one set in here, but uh, it's just really neat that you can place items. Question map and you detail even sharper. Alright, let's get back to the here. here. Next one, here's our seed stock. So what I do is we'll, uh, we'll clean that seed over there and then get it filled up here in this with a little planter drill, whatever, as we're ready to take it all out. Throw a little trash in here, uh, just for a little realism. Uh, part, part the dozer here, it's one of the only construction pieces that I have with right on the farm. We've got a few other pieces stored away, but a little trash gives a little reality, maybe, so forth. So, as you can see, the game lets you know uh, pretty much everything's full. And, uh, and, uh, so, save a little bit here. Now you can see an overview of what Ringwoods actually looks like. See over here we even got a ball field that's, uh, that's uh, pretty cool to look at. Pretty much right in here is our little town. There's not a big town, not a big city, but as you can see all the blue dots, this, this is the main farm. And if we're flashing, there we are, right there. Um, so as you see, there was a big barn or silos in here. These are happens to be our, our cow barns out here. Um, we got a couple hog barns right there, and of course over here our horse stables. Uh, I like adding that in the game. It's unique, uh, something to take care of. Probably the only thing I don't like about Ringwoods. Um, Again, back up a bit. The, the map is what I would call 100% perfect little map. <laughs> it's funny. 
But here we see our train running. Just caught a glimpse of that. Um, is wish we had just a, a little bit more acreage. Uh, when you're running big, big equipment, uh, you can you can get done pretty quickly. And the uh, if if we had a little bit more, maybe top to the sides would would be granted. Uh, but not too much more. There are uh, what's called 64 times maps that are absolutely enormous, and you wind up spending a lot of your time from your main farm driving and driving and driving to get to your outer outer fields, and then it's just not quite as fun. But if this one just had maybe uh, just a little bit more layered around the ends, I think I think then it would be perfect. But uh, so. 100% map, and just for that, I'd, I'd, I'd still give it a 98 because it's, it's absolutely enjoyable. So anyway, now that you get an overlook, um, we're going to come down here so we don't get off track. And we're going to get up to our productions. Now this is our productions here. we got some greenhouses out back that's telling us we're, we're producing, even in winter. We've got our <coughs> production chain of uh, milk. Here's a composter, as you'll see that it's that it's full right now. So we gotta keep that going. Here's what's in our in our silos, all loaded up. Uh, this one's empty. Let the back one. That's where I put everything right now. This is our fermenter. We also got a couple silage, maybe silage factories that, that we need our stuff for for our animals. We got our Pig feed mixer, sugar beet mixer, bioglass factory, and here is what we're talking about. Here is our fertilizer production where, where we were standing when we came in here. So that's why it's full right now. So it's full, but if you go into this, this will tell you what you need up here where it says manure, the slurry, the digestate, and the water. Um, you got to keep those full and keep, keep everything going. So we'll visit this many, many times, but right now, let's just go ahead and get you back and uh, take in a few more sites of some field work. in 
first thrown sprayer. And, uh, over time, as we can see uh, everything that it does, when I go through the uh, videos where uh, we'll explore. So, in we go. As you see, we've got all our equipment held here. Um, this one right here is um, our big old Magnum 400. Uh, uh, if I remember right, that's probably about 435 horse. So it's real fun. Real fun to drive. Of course, we got our big boy, our 9620R uh, that I use for, for for quite a bit. It's it's just a it's just good having a tractor with full power out there where nothing can stop you. Right now, I'm running a S790. It's my combine. Uh, fun to drive. Which are a cotton picker, which I have not gotten a chance to use yet on this map. I did not plant any cotton the first time around. Uh, the second time, in fact, uh, I believe we can plant it. 
Back. Let's let's go. Uh, let's go check that out now. I'm gonna go through another save. I have my uh, game save save every five minutes. So we get a look at the the board here, the weather conditions. But here's our calendar. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're right over here, February, and there's only again two days in each month period. So thought again this would be a great place to start where everything's just ready to get rolling we get through the day and we'll instantly be kicked into March where we can start planting whatever we choose but uh, right here is our cotton and uh, we're able to plant that right now obviously I'm not going to go out there in the snow plant it so we're going to wait for that to melt down a little bit and I think then that'll be one of our first things we do. That the time season for cotton is so long when we plant it, we won't even get a chance to harvest in October. So uh, we're gonna wait. In fact, let me show you. Again, we'll take you back to this map. You'll see this little bit of field down here. Um, number, I think that's 18. That is where we're going to put our cotton. It's just a little field, but I thought, you know what? Let's just stick some cotton in there. It's fun to use different equipment and uh, try it out. But I didn't want to use it up so much while we're on this map. Um, if you look over to the right, right in here, the yellow, that is uh, wheat. If you look in here, over here in, in the guide, up here, if you match the color, uh, we have our barley growing, and with season plant spring season coming up, I believe I'm going to go with this one, two, and three. These two back fields right here, I'm going to put the oats. Need a need a little supply of oats for the horses. This year, I'm planning on this back section being all of all corn. Last year it was beans. Down here was the corn. So we're going to rotate these two, and we're going to make these fields beans. So I'm not going to get a whole lot excited. I've got plenty of sugar beet soybeans from last harvest. I don't do a whole lot into the uh, um, other categories. Here's the crop types, too, where you can go onion, rye, millet, hops, poppy, any anything you really want to plant. Um, but I do like stick, sticking with uh, the normal grains, uh, at least in this map. If you have a big map, then you can kind of get into that other stuff and spread it around. But I go with the big producers here. Um, so that's where we're at. So now we're just going to kick over to the growth. As you see here on the table. We've got stuff that's growing. Of course, that's the wheat fields. If you'll notice right in here, that does happen to be the grass field that I've used to produce all the grass. And I, I like that close, so it's just it, it's a close run to get into the silos. Over here again, of course, we've got uh, these fields tilled up. Some are cultivated. Uh, there is one that is a, I have put to a seed bed already. Up here, that's where the corn's going. These are seed beds, and of course, that's where we're going to put the oats. So that tells you what's going on. Another one, soil composition. Of course, here, if you look, that's a seed bed, but it has been overpopulated with weeds. We're going to we'll take those out, either by spray or, or tillage. And our last filter here is called hotspots. It doesn't do a whole lot except if you want to identify. Uh, go where all your trailers or, or your productions or your animals and so forth. And we'll go back to here. Uh, one thing we don't want to run, it will, it will go, if you would just watch your growth, and when she's ready to harvest, everything will turn orange, and away you go. So this map we're on quite a bit. So, let's get you back. Um, I thought this would be fun. I, uh, I haven't used this one either, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this up as a tracks one. Um, I, I, I have fun with this ideal in, in the past. It's, it's, it's just a fun combine to 
kind of drive. Um, give me a different version from from the Dooley's on uh, 790 to the Trax one. And here is John Deere's the latest. Uh, the, 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 the tire spread on these is enormous. Uh, compared to its next model, as you can see here, the 790. This is the X. Is it the X9? They have an X9, and now this is even bigger. The X9 1100. Uh, big old grain spout. Uh, this this one, the capacity holds a whole lot more than this one. So I don't know. I was just privy to the S90. I might I might break the X. The X9 1100 out this year. This is one of my favorite track, just AR410. Uh, I use this uh, just a little tooling around. Then I thought it would be fun. I thought, you know what? I got a big barn here. Let's just load up some of the the eye candy uh, examples. Uh, X20 RX, just enormous track, a lot of power. I thought, ah, we'll throw in the 620. Uh, this 9620R, and the one I'm using I think is the same, exactly, 9620R. You can change perspective, little horsepower. Uh, this one's an all blacked out model, and I thought that was, that was kind of cool. Um, I'm not too privy of the ARTs. Uh, the dynamics of them, the, they're actually really kind of hard to control. Your, your turning is, is a little tougher, let me say, than, uh, than let's say, a normal uh, front wheel assist tractor and whatnot. Um, of course, John Deere started going with this. This is 8RX. Um, they're fine. I um, just don't like the styling of them, but, you know, once in a while, I'll take it out. It's, again, this is just something that you can experiment with and, and drive and have fun with. We, what, what do we got here? 8360 R. This 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 particular mod allows you to put triples on it. Um, and uh, I thought, yeah, let's just throw some of those on there. But anyway, as you remember in the other barn, I had a few over there, but uh, this uh, this 400 and the other 400, it's 9620. I use and I use this one quite a bit. There's a few other tractors you notice we're setting around, uh, you know, uh, for certain certain things. Over here, I decided this is where I'm going to put all my all my towable equipment. So I haven't found out anything to really put in this door. I think this is really close to the side door, but we'll take a glance around. We got a big old roller back there. Uh, these were a few items uh, that I can't move. Those were built in. Uh, with the barn, so if you got the barn, which is just a little trinket you had to have. I picked up this little uh, planter uh, for for a few of those smaller fields that I have. It's, it's actually just easier to go out with one of those than try to throw in that great big monster that I got. That big old uh, your Ripper, 2100 Ripper. Uh, these are the new uh, speed. Uh, Call them a high performance disc, not what I grew up with, but I assure you they, they work the same. And it gives you, if you look in right hand time, down the right hand corner, it tells you everything pretty much what you got. So, I like this one, this field cultivator, this one as well. This, um, this I believe can be used with uh, potatoes or sugar beets uh, planting. So I have to keep that one around just if I, if I put some of that in. Another uh, field cultivator, and this is our big boy right over here. Uh, this one, if we, if we flat out want to get 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 the stuff done too quick, we'll go and hook onto that. Um, I did notice here that uh, I forgot to wash this one as I uh, got done using it. So I have to take that over to the wash bay and give it a hose down. The old uh, uh, disc that I were accustomed to, it's got some 
can either put some tines or some roller cages on the back of it. So it makes it a little different. If, you, if you're not sure what this is, this is this is my grass mower. This is my lawn mower. It uh, gets taken care of a field real quick, but uh, good power on that, and I love using that thing. So here we've got our corn header. It's kind of out, out, out in the. Uh, out in the space, I guess you might say. I haven't found quite a good place to put this yet. Uh, easy to get to and whatnot. Uh, but I'll find a place. Got a little skid steer. I think I just drove him in here just recently. Um, and back out. Um, I think. Uh, there are houses and so forth you can uh, you can go through. Uh, that particular uh, one that was on the map, this uh, the log cabin, it, it doesn't actually allow you to go in. So um, call them sleep shooters. That's where you kind of start every every snap after you save it. You start the day or after you save it. As much in the future, uh, but I wanted to uh, give everybody a nice introduction of what we're looking at. So I think once we get going here, we can just uh, listen to the sounds of, of nature, or of the tractors that we're running, machinery, watch them in action, and um, I do have a huge surprise. Um, this next video coming. Um, we're, we're, since it's winter time and there's not a whole lot to do, all our productions are met. Let's, in fact, let's go and check that right now. We're gonna actually we'll. Uh, this is this is our store. This is where we can buy some new stuff, and our objects. We need bales and so forth. But we'll we'll explore all that at at some point in time. Um. I want to check on our last little thing here, and uh, that is our animals. So, looks like our uh, our hogs are all fixed up. Reproduction isn't isn't great, but uh, food uh, we we we're not in danger. But every a little the base grain, protein, and root crops are a little bit in the red. Uh, but they're good on water and straw. Skip down here. Cows are right on. Produce milk for me. Another hog farm looks pretty good. Nobody's out of anything. Second cow barn is probably the third one. I just loaded them up. And our horses. Um, <laughs> each with their own pre bought name. So it's kind of cool. Um, you will notice uh, everything looks pretty good there, but. Uh, their health is zero, puberty 77, and the daily riding. I uh, I don't ride them very uh, very often, and uh, it takes a lot of time. Maybe we could take them out, have, have a go at it, but everything looks pretty good there. Um, right there's a via calendar, or just, just a vehicle overview of you know the percent of what we used them, how much we paid, and so forth. Uh, mentioned the weather. And then basically we stay on this map right here and take everything in. But uh, we've got a great, great place to take take you guys on our next video, which uh, we'll probably just follow this one. But there's a special barn down here that uh, I, I think everybody would get a kick out of. It's my, uh, my eye candy uh, 
barn. And over here is our store. Uh, we got the store kind of loaded up, a bunch of different items, and it is just fun, just just a good time to just cruise down there. And uh, of course, we're sitting right here. We're real close to the store, so we can cruise down there and take a look at uh, all the tractors that uh, are available in this game. And some they're just fun to get on and, and hear different sounds of them, uh, the looks of them compared to other ones, how they feel, and so forth. But hopefully, that's the experience I, I want to give a few people. Um, and uh, enjoy it along with me. So, let's, uh, if you can see, right, right down there is that, that eye candy barn that I was talking about right here, this red one. It's down there a ways. And just over this hill, we've, uh, we've got our, uh, we've got our tractor deal. There are, there are vehicles in this game. You can elect to keep them on, or you can elect to shut them off so there's actually no vehicle traffic. Sometimes I get in the way, especially when I'm taking that nasty field cultivator down the road somewhere that uh, you gotta get over and you can tend to get caught on something a little bit and you kinda wish that car wasn't quite in your way, but I have fun with it. I, I do leave my traffic on. Um, this was this was a, a new object that we were able to add. All this little other stuff we got to drill. And just just great little details everywhere if you look around. Um, Stevie did a great job not only on, on all this little stuff, the water segments. He put some some great ponds in. You know, just I want to call them secret areas, but as you're driving, you see these areas, and you just you just want to get out and take a look and say, "Wow, this is." This is really cool. So anyway, we will see all this come time, and um, I, I just wanted to get this first video up and out there, and hopefully people start with that, one, and then you can tune back in uh, when I'm playing again, and uh, I'll make sure and record another one just as we go. And like I said, we're just coming into uh, March where everything, and, and hopefully I'm going to try to get the video segment uh, for the entire season through until when it snows again and we're at the same place so I don't know how many videos that will consist of but hopefully you guys will enjoy these uh, I, I enjoy not only I guess making them here uh, but just uh, fooling around um, and uh, just exploring it's, it's, a, it's a good place to escape and uh, Imagine what if and, and stuff like that, and, and, and at the very least, I, I know my grandson will like these. And, and now, now that I'm recording, it'll make it feel like I'm, I'm he didn't miss anything. That uh, that the entire time uh, I was out, uh, he was right alongside me. So anyway, I'm going to uh, set it down right here and. Uh, I hope some of you people return, and uh, this was this was this was very fun for the first time out. And, uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Now, if we can figure out a way to shut it off.